The popular Powder Puff Derby made its return to Fraser Downs on Saturday, March 27th. The exciting race featured all women drivers from here at the backstretch. Despite the fact that there were no whips or race bikes permitted, the horses finished the one mile race in an astonishing two minutes time. Now let's meet the field of this year's Powder Puff Derby. I'm Alana Main and I'm driving Primetime Bliss. Um, I, my name is Cherie and I'm driving Told Ya Fred and I work for the Hollingsworth Stables. So, yeah. My name is Dana Lawrence, I'm from Red Star Stables and I will be driving Komoda's Fantasy. My name is Amber Lancaster and I'll be driving Cheyenne Dusk with the three hole. I'm Donna Cunningham and I'll be driving Dave's Showboat. My name is Kayla Mills and I'll be driving Red Star Yogi. Now that we've met all the participants, let's have a look at the exciting race. 2010 Powder Puff Derby. Who will we crown the Powder Puff Champion? We'll find out. Gate picking up speed. It's the Powder Puff Derby, and there they go. They are off and a pacing, and it's a host of levers in here. Toward the inside, there is Dave Shobo with Donna Cunningham, but now hustling up as Ignite the Spark with Olivia Gogash, who has the rail and now has an early lead. Looking to land into the pocket, Donna Cunningham out there very wide as Atlanta Main with primetime bullets as they race toward the opening quarter in the jot cards. That is Olivia Gogash and her charge it is with the lead, Ignite the Spark. Dave Showboat and Donna Cunningham sitting in the pocket. And now Amber Lancaster is uh, there along the inside. The next up on the outside here after from post five, trying to drive it up is Komoda's Fantasy with a Dana Lawrence. There's a gap of about two more lengths then back. Along the inside, it's shy and the dusk as they head toward the half. And that opening quarter, quick for them, 28 and three, as they head to the half mile mark in the 2010 Powder Puff at Derby tonight. That is Olivia Gogash out there strutting her stuff with, that's Ignite the Spark on a three length lead. Komoda's Fantasy hasn't seen the pylons yet, but is hanging around for Dana Lawrence. Donna Cunningham wants a little more out of Dave Showboat. And now Amber Lancaster is trying to split horses and she will with Cheyenne the Dust. And then along the inside comes Primetime Bliss with Atlanta Main. Also out there, Sherry Paskarak with Told You Fred. And then Red Star Yogi with Kayla Mills. But they're all chasing Ignite the Spark and Olivia Gogush. And now that's Cheyenne Dust with Amber Lancaster in second. But they're running out of real estate. The 2010. Potter Puff Derby heads for home, and it's Olivia Gogash highlight and ignite the spark. Cheyenne does with Amber Lancaster second as they hit the wire in the Potter Puff Derby. Hit a wall. Cheyenne does, and Amber Lancaster won it in the very final stride. Tough luck for Olivia Gogash ran out of steam right at the end, and I believe it might have been Alana Main with primetime bliss third. What an effort! Here today. How about the mile in the jog cart? Two minutes and four fifths. Cheyenne Dust got there for Ember Lancaster. After the race, we went out to the winner's circle to check out all the post race excitement as the drivers pose for pictures and receive prizes. So, Amber, how are you feeling right um, now? Nervous and excited and just a rush. Like, I'm totally ecstatic right now. I can't even words to explain this. <laughs> <laughs> you were pretty nervous going into this, uh, I bet. Very, very. Um, as soon as we get on the gate, it kind of calmed down a little bit. Then once we had left, I was just like, wow, I didn't even have anything to think about it. Just out of there. <laughs> so, run us through the race a little bit here. Um, well, I, leaving out of there, I didn't think I really had much go, and then so I got in three hole, and uh, I was just thinking I didn't think I was gonna be able to pull because uh, Dana was on the outside of me there. So, and just after the half, I seen an opening, and I got out before it was too late. So, and coming home, I just beat at the wire. So that's awesome. 